here we go, back at it again. Skunk Master Fishing. Made it out to the local lake uh, early spring. So we're gonna walk down here. Got a couple new things to try out. The Yolo Tech juice box. Got the uh, uh, Skunk Master Fishing gear on. We're also gonna be uh, testing out the new Shimano Scorpion DC. So we're gonna make our way down here and uh, see if we can find anything. Maybe some early spring pigs. But uh, we're gonna head down this way and uh, see what we can find. Stick with me. Well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's gonna be the first time trying out the Shimano Scorpion. It's my first Shimano. And uh, I think we're gonna start it off with the um, Mike Buka. Um, the baby bull shad I haven't been to the lake lately so we're going to start this off at a setting of number 3 I've never casted this before so I'm going to tighten down the uh, tensioner knob and just get a little cast out there alright all right. not too bad not too bad first cast just going to be chucking this around a little bit just to test out the uh, reel and like I said it's our first uh Mike Buka, so I mean, uh, I'm sorry, I'm kind of excited here. So, my first uh, Shimano DC reel. So, let's see, let's give this a little more. All right, all right, okay. We have it on the setting of a number three, so we're gonna go down to a number two. Um, I'm not too bad with the bait caster, so we'll try that out here and see how it works out. I may just throw a couple things. I don't have too much time to be out here today. So I'm just gonna throw around the uh, the bull shad here a couple times. And uh, wow, that thing really gets out there. It's a really good cast. So I just kind of slow roll the old bull shad there. This is one of my favorite spots for um, uh, snakeheads. So this winter has been pretty rough for me, so I haven't really been able to catch too much of anything. But we can give it a shot here. I think I may throw on the uh, uh, chatter bait here. I think that's what I may do because uh, I haven't had any luck on the bull shad well actually I had this is the uh, on the bull gill I did catch a couple bass but nothing on this oh look at that we got a little overrun there so I might have to tighten that up a little bit a little overrun with the overhand cast but it's kind of overhand caster a little bit tricky with the bait caster so Just tighten down the uh, tensioner knob there a little bit. Yeah, I might throw on the uh, chatter bait real quick here. Just because we're kind of pressed for time this afternoon. Just kind of made it out spontaneously. So I'm going to come right back with the uh, chatter bait. All right, switched over to the underspin here on the scorpion. See if we can get anything to bite that. Bite the old underspin. I'm gonna walk up that trail right there. See if maybe we can find something here. And then, yeah. See if anything's coming up shallow yet. Ooh, there we go. Got one. Got one. First one on the uh, underspin with the scorpion. There we go. Got him on the stinger hook. Look at that. You guys see that? Let's get this hook out of him. Huh? Yeah. So, got the first one there. Yeah. 
So I'm gonna snap a little picture of this one real quick here. He's a dink, but hey, dinks, dinks matter too, right? Eventually he'll be big. Let's flip the camera here. Yeah, first one on the uh, scorpion. I'm gonna let this little fella go here. He was actually very shallow, so I'm gonna let this guy go here. There he goes. All right. All right, first one on the uh, Shimano Scorpion. That guy was shallow, very shallow. So, see, had him on that stinger hook. So, let's try back over there again, one more time. See if maybe we got some swimming really shallow there. All right, walking down here to my first spot and uh, man, ton of everything jumped in the water here. I'm not gonna make it all the way down to the water because uh, I don't know if there's anything shallow, but we're gonna start off with the uh, inline spinner that I cut. So I cut down a uh, MEPS number four. Well, I didn't cut it down. I just removed the uh, treble hook, put on a single hook here so that uh, it's a bit more weedless. Uh, I've uh, been told that, uh, well, seen also that snakeheads apparently, they like those inline spinners. So I've already tried out the uh, Shimano Scorpion, but that's what we're gonna stick with today. And uh, there's a lot of brush here, a lot of logs and it's pretty wooded here. But let's see, we're on number two setting so let's get it out there a lot of turtles there man I see a ton of turtles here a ton of turtles here but that's all right we'll just kind of work around them let's see if we can find a Snakehead or a bass. I'd be happy with anything. So I did come out the other day, tested out the uh, scorpion. I caught a uh, small bass on it already. So it seems to cast pretty well. I mean, it's really, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it's a really good reel. Oh, we got a little chase there, I think. Bunch of grass. I hear an owl too. I don't know if you guys can hear that on the video or not. Man, I see a ton of turtles over there. A lot of this brush is cut back so it's easy to get to this area here, but during the summer it's like overrun with um, brush and trees and everything else that grows in tall grass and makes it a little bit tricky to get through here. So we're going to head up this way. And um, get to that spot over here by this log. Let's see him keep my eye on the water here. All right, I got a uh, bunch of turtles everywhere here, but right here looks like there's a clearing there, but there are a few turtles there. That's all right, we'll kind of spook them out of the way there. we can find someone to bite today. Also got a swim jig tied on. Let's see if that works out too. Throw a couple things out here on this side. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go, we got us a little one. I gotta tighten up my drag here. The drag is a bit too loose. There we go. Got our first one on the inline spinner. Look at that. All right. Got us a dink here, but hey. First one here on this side. I did, like I said the other day, I was here, I caught a uh, a bass on the other side. So, it's been a, got us a little one here. All right, so we got this little dink here. It's a start. So let him go. There he goes. All right, so uh, first one on the inline spinner that I, uh, like I said, I um, removed the treble. So it's a uh, MEPS number four. 
So that's pretty good. All right, so we know that works. So let's get back out here. I gotta tighten up my drag here. The drag was really loose. I went to set the hook on them and man, had it been something bigger, I would have probably lost him. So. Oh, there it is, right at the bank. Look at that. Look at that, right at the bank. There's another one. There's another one there. Not big, but hey, fish is a fish, right? All right, calm down, guy. All right, here we go. Yeah, that's another one there. All right, let's get our pliers out here. But hey, fish is a fish. All right, let's fix up our stuff. grass all right well that's gonna do it for us <clears throat> if anyone's debating on getting this shimano scorpion i'd say do it i mean this thing is just it's awesome there's nothing else to it it's awesome this casting is uh perfect well i'm not gonna say perfect but it's it's pretty good it's really good actually so so far that three fish on it but um yeah I'm pretty satisfied. I wish I would have gotten it sooner, but it's pretty good.